In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to create your first digital product using artificial intelligence. Hey, what's going on? Daniel here with Mainstack, and we're building a platform that allows you to be able to showcase, sell, and get paid for your digital product, regardless of where you are in the world. If you haven't checked out Mainstack, it's going to be the first link in the description. Click on it, go sign up, and start using Mainstack to sell your digital products today. So let's dive right into the video. So for this video, we're going to be using Google Gemini AI. Now, Google Gemini AI is just like OpenAI is chat gpt and we know the chat gpt has been around for a while and i'm a big fan of chat gpt but as i've started using google's gemini i started seeing some differences between gemini and and chat gpt that i think is really interesting so we're going to be using that for the purpose of this video at mainstack we're a huge advocate for selling data product because not only do i think that it is the easiest way to make money online we also feel like it is the best use of your time so if you have a knowledge or a skill that is transferable to one or many people you can create a digital product such as an ebook or a course that you can then sell to that many people. So in this video, I'm going to be focusing mainly on creating your first ebook because I think it is the easiest way to start making money online as a digital product creator. In this video, we're going to attempt to select a topic and we're going to create the outline for that topic and we're going to have Google Gemini create the content of that ebook so that we can go edit that content and make it suitable for sale. So the first thing you want to do is to go on gemini.google.com. Of course, you want to make sure you sign up for the Gemini Advanced because the Advanced is going to give you way more features than you will get from the regular version of it. So Google Gemini Advanced is about $19 a month. But if you sign up, I think right now they're doing a three months promotion, which means you can use Google Gemini Advanced for three months without paying a dime, which is what I'm using right now. So you get on gemini.google.com and you will find find this screen right here. I think it's really intuitive, very beautiful. And what you want to do here is to type in your first prompt. So when you click on new chat, you will see a box here that allows you to enter your prompt. And that's exactly what you want to do. So here I'm saying, give me five ebook ideas about crocheting for beginners. Now crochet is something that a lot of people want to do. And one thing I always talk about when creating a data product is that regardless of what your knowledge is, make sure that that thing that you're creating a data product about is applicable to a lot of people. Now, for this example, crochet is sort of like any something that a lot of people want to get into. Anyone can do this, whether male or female, young or old. And people just do crocheting simply because it's so soothing. It's almost therapeutic for some people. So it's a good example to try to create an ebook about for this video. So for the first prompt, I said, give me five ebook ideas about crocheting for beginners. Now let's click on enter. So Google Gemini is giving us some very good results now. It says, absolutely, there are five ebook ideas specifically designed to help beginners learn crochet crochet. Now, it's giving me five ideas, then helping me break down those ideas into what the focus of the ebook is going to be, what type of projects I can in include in the ebook, and what I can add to the ebook as a sort of bonus to increase the value of that ebook. So for the first example, the ebook topic idea is the absolute beginner's guide to crochet. Learn the basics in a weekend. Now, I love this first one to start with because one, it is very concise. It is straight to the point meaning there is a huge market for this, a beginner's market that is always the biggest market in any niche or any industry. And it's saying, learn the basics in a weekend. That is very precise, very straight to the point because it's telling you that you can learn the basics of crochet in one weekend. Now, what is the focus of this ebook? It says, mastering essential stitches, meaning chain, single crochet, double crochet, etc., and reading simple patterns. Now, the projects that I can include in this ebook could be dishcloths, scarves, simple granny squares now these are very popular you know type of patterns in the crochet niche if you're familiar with that uh you know dish cloth is something that a lot of people want to crochet it's a very beginner beginner friendly project uh you can make scarves you know scarves that you put around your neck when it's cold outside and you can make simple granny squares and as a bonus for this ebook to increase the value you can do a clear close-up photos and video tutorials linked within the ebook so you can create simple tutorials that you can record using your phone or a camera and you can do a close-up uh, photos of this patterns and stitches and you can include links to those inside of that ebook now let's look at the second example the second example is cute and easy amigurumi crochet your first adorable critters now I don't know what amigurumi is but if you're familiar with crochet maybe that's a thing i wouldn't go for this because it is 
kind of advanced in a way the words being used there kind of like a technical jargon so let's move on i'm not even going to stop on that the third one is crochet beyond the rectangle master basic shaping techniques Crochet beyond basic rectangle, master beyond shipping techniques. That's kind of straightforward. Now, the first one is the Granny Square Project Book, Endless Inspiration for Crochet Classic. Now, this is really good. So, it's a project book to start with when you're going to need a lot of visual cues and visual inspiration to get, you know, to help people appreciate what you have in that. Now, let's look at the fifth one the photo crochet stitch dictionary your visual reference guide honestly out of all these five i think the number one idea is sort of like the best one of them all because it is very straightforward and it's easy to get started with the absolute beginner's guide to crochet learn the basics in one weekend now that is what we're going to go with now let's go back into the prompt and say i love the first idea now give me now this is this is going to be very important give me the ebook outline now when you are writing your ebook you first of all want to create an outline so that you know exactly what you write about so you don't ramble and go off tangent and that is the best way to go about it now google gemini has given us the outline for this ebook it says here's a detailed outline for your ebook the absolute beginner's guide to crochet one introduction Welcome to the world of crochet, why it's a wonderful hobby, blah, blah, blah. What you find in this ebook and a note of encouragement to absolute beginners. Now, chapter one, tools of the trade. Chapter two, uh, crochet foundations. Chapter three, your first project. Chapter four, reading crochet patterns. Chapter five, troubleshooting and tips. And then conclusion. Now, within each of this chapter, it's telling me exactly what subtopics I need to include in this uh, chapters. For example, chapter one, I mean, chapter two, uh, under crochet foundations, it's telling me that I should include how to hold your yarn and hook, different hand positions, the chain stitch, step-by-step -step instructions to, you know, with photo and video links, the slip stitch instructions when it's used, step-by-step -step plus common beginner mistakes, double crochet instructions, how to differ from single crochet. So this is really good. So I'm going to go from finding the ebook idea to find, I mean, to generating the outline for this ebook. Then what you want to do next is to now, you do not want to copy every Every single one you want to start with the introduction now what I'm gonna say is I love this now you want to encourage AI because AI they're kind of intelligent in a way so I love these now let's begin with the introduction you want to go step by step you do not want to copy the whole thing and ask AI to generate an ebook using the you know all of the uh, you know you know the chapters that is generated for you you want to pick the introduction in fact, I'm going to go one step further and say, I want you to write, welcome to the world of crochet and why it's a wonderful hobby. I want, it, I want AI to write just that section and I'm going to do enter. Now, this is how you're going to go step by step. You pick the first chapter with the sub, I mean, with the first subtitle, ask AI to write it. And you can even give it some criteria, sort of like, I want this to be at least 500 words or at least 300 words. And I want you to use, you know, a friendly language, a beginner friendly language or any type of language you want to use. Now, this is this is good. It says, you know, congratulations on taking the first step into wonderful world of crochet and so on and so forth. You know, crochet is fulfilling an accessible craft with so much to offer. Relaxation and mindfulness, creative expression, sense of accomplishment, community. What you find in this ebook, this guide is designed to be your ultimate beginner companion. Then it goes to a note for beginners. Then it says, let's get started. I can tell you to tweak this a little bit and say, make it at least 300 words long and use a beginner friendly language now this is going to fine tune the ai a little bit more now you can do whatever you want you can do whatever prompt you want but you want to set specific guidelines for the artificial intelligence program so that it gives you something that is really usable so now that you've generated the introduction you want to go back and say now you want to generate what you find in the book that subsection of what you find in this book you can tell ai to generate that as well what you find in this book section now remember as you're writing the the ebook as the AI is generating the content of the ebook you want to make sure that you are copying the content so you open up a google doc you open a google doc then you copy each section into a google doc all right i'm gonna copy that then i'm gonna take that to a google doc Control shift v boom so now you have your first your first section then you go back you copy the second section and so on and so forth so that's how you pick each line of the title of the subtitle 
you generate, you copy into your Google document. And after you do that, then you go back to your Google document, then you start editing your document to make it look good. Then you start including your images. If you have any videos, you record those videos, you upload them in Google Drive and you put the link inside of your document. So that's how you do it. And you don't need to hire a designer or anything. When I first wrote my ebook, in fact, that was way before ChatGPT came out. I wrote everything inside of Google Doc and I edited, I formatted my ebook using Google Docs. I didn't even use Canva, but I made sure it still looked good. If the content of your ebook is good enough, believe me, you can promote it anywhere. Anyone will still find value in it, regardless of how you know the design looks. Of course, the design is good. It's always, you know, it always gives it like a one leg up above any other one that is out there. But make sure you focus on the content of your ebook if you want to uh, make sure it provides a lot more value. Anyways, this is how you use artificial intelligence, Gemini AI in this case, to generate your first digital product. Now, what do you do? Once you have your first digital product, it's time to sell. And that's where Mainstack comes in. Check out the first link in the description. Go sign up in Mainstack. You'll be able to uh, set up your storefront in less than five minutes and start selling and start receiving payments right away. We've made several videos in the past that talks about how to set up you know, various aspects of a Mainstack storefront. Go check out the playlist, which I'll put right here in the cards. All of the videos about Mainstack and how to set up your storefront is going to be right there. And if you have any questions about Mainstack, make sure to leave them down in the comment section down below. If you found value in this video, be sure to subscribe, leave your questions in the comment section. My name is Danielle and I will see you in the next video. Take care now.